warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. So don't double on that dash, alright dude? The inclusion of special items is awesome, but why are triple shells, bob -ohms, and golden mushrooms exclusive? Those are items that everyone should be able to use. You can't do little jumps. I have to unlock Toad when he's always been a starting character in every other Mario Kart. Petey Piranha's head is way too friggin' big. I can't see anything in front of me. Also, King Boo and Petey Piranha are broken because they can use every special weapon. Blue shells are particularly bad in this game. You'll get flown in the air for what feels like 45 years before you can move forward again. The chain chomp item might be cool at first, but it'll just end up knocking you off stage in the harder tracks. You can't hold items behind you, so if you're trying to dodge a red shell or something, you have to drop the item you're holding at just the right time to avoid getting hit. Those people that say Peach and Daisy's special items are bad, when they're actually pretty darn amazing, like you literally steal an item you run into, like did these people ever play the game? When you lose badly with the baby characters and they start crying. Shut up! Where is the single player versus mode? And where is the single player battle mode? A lot of the music is repeated over and over in different tracks. The fake item boxes are dumb in Double Dash. They should look really similar to the real ones, but have a small touch that makes them fake. But in this game, they look completely different, so it's obvious which item boxes are real or not. Why does everyone obsess over Baby Park? It's just a simple loop over and over again. I don't get it. That stupid tornado in Dry Dry Desert. For some reason, I always manage to get myself sucked into it. I've never noticed this till now, but why aren't the characters wearing seat belts? I know you swap out characters and whatever, but this goes for all Mario Kart games. Where is the safety? Look at this box art. You see anything wrong with it? No? Well, you aren't looking close enough. The L on Luigi's cap is backwards. Fail. I can only use three initials when putting in my name after winning a cup. I want to put in more. You have to unlock the special cup. How dumb is that? I can understand unlocking all cup tour, but why the special cup? Those wiggler cars in Mushroom Bridge and Mushroom City. They do so much more destruction compared to the other cars for no reason. And those stupid bomb cars. Like, why on earth are there bomb cars on the road anyway? I can never drive up the railing of the bridge without falling off. And even if you can do this, it's a lot slower than just driving the normal route. The bananas in the picture are winking at me, and that's really creepy. I get that there's like innuendo with bananas, but just, just, no. The stats for the Gogo -Go Buggy and Toadette Kart are different in the battle mode compared to versus races, and nobody knows why. The physics and controls in Double Dash are really loose. Just play DK Mountain and you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. Sherbetland is so unfun to play on. The ice slips you up all over the place, and then you can get frozen by the freezies on top of that. In Peach Beach, there's this random pipe that you can use to get a double item box, but it's completely useless because you end up being really far behind in the race. When the Cataquack flips you into the air. Block City is just die at Block 4. Like, let's be real. And did anyone ever like Cookie Land? It's a cool stage and concept, but it's just too small. You don't win any prizes for completing the All Cup Tour in 50 or 100 CC, so don't waste your time completing those. There's only two mushrooms to use instead of three in time trials. That makes no sense, except for Wario Coliseum. The Mushroom Bridge logo isn't accurate. The picture shows a 1-up and not a mushroom. Get your shrooms right, y'all. Ugh, God. Well, hey man, if you need to be untriggered, then this video about Mario Kart Arcade GP could do the trick. Yeah, Mario Kart in the arcades. It is so darn cool. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and let me know in the comments how Mario Kart Double Dash triggers you. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.